What's up guys, I'm Caddy here and today we guys a brand new team builder video. Well, what we're doing is we're building around offensive Mew. Now if you guys are excited, don't forget to leave a like down below. I would really, really appreciate it. I apologise that lighting's still not right. I'm recording when I've still not got this stupid lead. So I am relying on natural light to light my face, which is never a good thing when you're trying to record videos. So, uh, this is a very, very offensive expert belt Mew set that's designed to basically pretend to be stall breaker because that's pretty much like 99% of the Mews you'll find on the ladder are like defensive, bulky with Willow and stuff like that. I think that's a real waste considering the coverage this guy gets is absolutely insane. So we're actually going from like a very strange set which is a non-stab set but it's got so much coverage that it's designed to deal with so many big threats. So for example, so you've got Ice Beam, Flamethrower, Earth Power and Thunderbolt. So things like Garchomp we okay with Ice Beam. All of the sizzles which might want to U-turn us thinking we're much a much slower set. We can go for flamethrowers on Earth Power for Heatran and then Thunderbolt for all of the water types and also flying types in the tier as well. So really, really nice coverage for the entire tier. Takes a few predictions to get right, but uh, it's going to be hitting almost everything in the tier super effectively, which is really, really cool. And I'm really excited to give this guy a go. So uh, from here... Uh, we need to have a think about what Pokemon sort of pair well with this guy. Now, he does lack any sort of form of recovery and stuff like that. So, that's one thing you have to be careful is you don't get this Mew Whittle down. And uh, I've been having a think about it. What teammate could be quite nice that could switch into all of the potential moves uh, direct to the Mew. And I was thinking, this is a little bit strange. But Lucario could actually work really, really well here. Because we can go for a Life Orb set with uh, the Justified. So, we can switch into those knockoffs. And get that justified boost, which is really, really nice. We're going to go for an extreme speed, close combating, and um, Iron Head. Because what this means is uh, Mew is kind of walled by fairies and stuff like that. Because it doesn't have that stab or any enough power, basically, to be able to break through those. So Lucario has really nice offensive synergy. And really appreciates Mew taking out some of the things like, uh, I don't know, maybe possibly even, you know, Scarf Tran or like any, any fast... Threats that can be worn down and also walls as well. So both together they form a really, really nice core. And we're going to go for a Swords Dance Lucario with max attack. And uh, we're going to go for max speed but with an adamant nature. So this is allowing us to hit really, really hard. This is a really nice check to weave out. And having extreme speed is really, really good. Especially uh, when there's a lot of things that outspeed us. If we can get that Swords Dance up on a switch or something like that. Especially we force, you know, for example, a weave out to switch out. That could be really, really nice, and uh, we can put a huge amount of pressure on the opposing teams from there. So, um, now what we need to have a think about is maybe some sort of rocker or uh, defensive core. Um, you know, the start of basically of a defensive core, and I'm, I'm thinking Hippowden for this team. The only downside is that this, the Sandstorm is going to wear Mew down a bit, a little bit, but it does give me a reliable check to Megazard X, which actually puts a lot of pressure on this core. I have to rely on that speed tie or assume that it's adamant for it, me to be able to handle that. And if it gets plus one, it basically, so far, it's not, it's going to be doing a whole lot to my team. So I haven't used a powder in a very long time. It's one of my favorite Pokemon to use and uh, would, should hopefully, hopefully work really, really well with this team. So we're going to go for um, Earthquake. Now, this is always the difficult one. Do you go Stone Edge <laughs> or do you go... Um, or do you go... Uh, where's the Stealth Rock? Stealth Rock and um, Slack Off. So the options we got, we could go Earthquake Stone Edge, which would give us neutral coverage for most of the tier. But uh, that means we can't force out setup sweepers like um, Clefairy and stuff. Uh, not Clefairy, Clefable and stuff like that. Or we go for Whirlwind here to part, uh, sort of get rid of setup sweepers. I'm leaning towards Whirlwind at the minute just because I hate facing Calm Mind Clefable and it's a real pain when they do start setting up. So we're going to go 248. Um, uh, I think it's 114, I think. 112 and then 148 uh, Impish Nature. That's the standard pound set that allows you to take on a lot of the tier and avoid a lot of really, really key to it KOs from there. So that's really, really nice. Um, so we need some sort of defogger. <coughs> and I think a Pokemon that could work quite well is Latios. Uh, mainly because Latios gives us a check to um, things like Megazard Y to an extent where we can actually offensively check it. At the minute, we're just speed tying with it with Mew. And uh, that could be a big problem. We've already got to check. This sounds a little bit weird. We've got to check to uh, Mega Manetric as well. Because Hippowden actually doesn't get to it KO by HP Ice with this set. So uh, we can actually kind of handle it from there. But it's always nice to have another Pokemon that can potentially sort of check, kind of check it. So we're going to go for a Life Orb set. 
with a levitate with uh, Draco Meteor, um, Psy Shock. Um, let's see, Psy Shock, uh, Defog. Now, what do we want to do with this final coverage move? We could go for Roost. Um, what do they normally say? They say Him Power Fire. Earthquake or Roost. So we've already got the Mew to try and handle Heatran. We're not particularly, we're not weak to Heatran at all. So uh, I don't think that's particularly nasty. I don't like HP Ice, I must admit. Just because in, with HP Ice you get that 30 speed IV, so we actually end up losing every single speed tie um, at, base one, uh, at base 110, which I really, really don't like. We could actually go for, either, we can either go for Roost or Memento here. Um, let's see, what's our best bet? At the minute, I think we're going to stick with Roost, but we could always change that to Memento if we want to really go, you know, really easy ways for Lucario to set up from there. Uh, we're going to go 252, 252, um, Timid Nature, with zero IVs in there. So that's really, really nice. Um, <coughs> what we do need is some sort of um, pairing to go with our Hippowdon. We also just get completely stopped by Carmine Sableye. Because it can burn our Lucario, we can't really kill it with Latios and Hippowden. Can't even whirl a wind attack as well, so it'd be nice to have a little check to that, and maybe have some uh, priority from there. So what I'm thinking is maybe we go for uh, a Talonflame set. We we've got loads of switchings to Electric types, so I'm not too worried about that. And uh, I, I'm quite interested in going for the uh, Spadef Bulk Up set, I think, because you do get a really surprising amount of bulk with this set. We've got the Defog. Um, I actually prefer Brave Bird with Leftovers. I think it just works a little bit better. Uh, you get a little bit more power. And also, I, I like the recoil is not a mu as much. Most of the time you get enough sort of recoil where Leftovers brings it back up. And a lot of the times you're roosting and bulking up on Will-O-Wisping. So you're not actually going for Brave Bird. So overall, I personally think Brave Bird works a lot better with this set. So we've got a max specially defensive set. Has a reasonable core for Powder outside of Wars type. So we do have to try and find a way to uh, sort of check water type moves to the final slot uh, from there. So we want some sort of water type most likely. Um, we haven't got our Mega either, uh, so let's have a look. What Megas could we potentially go for? We don't have to go for a Mega, but uh, it could be quite interesting to add one onto there. Uh, let's see, so um, what could we go for? What, what, what water Megas we got up in OU? So we could go Mega Blastoise, not particularly because that's down in UU and I don't think it really fits the team. Um, Let's see, we could actually go Mega Gyarados. That could work actually, because that gives us a really powerful Dark type, which actually pairs quite nicely with Lucario. Um, we've got switch into fighting type moves with the Latios and the Talonflame. Um, it's a really good win condition late game with that setup sweeping. Uh, it gives us quite a hyper offensive team, but uh, that's actually not too bad a thing. I, I'm trying to learn how to get into hyper offense, so this could work quite well. So we'll go for OU. I know it's not used too much, but... Uh, we're going to use this set. I don't like Ice Fang. I'm, I'm a big fan of um, Earthquake, especially when uh, Rotom Wash gives our team a tiny bit of trouble. So uh, I think Earthquake is that Mold Breaker negates when it megas up. Mold Breaker negates the uh, um, uh, Levitate on that map one, so we can actually hit that really, really hard. So I think this is what we're going to go for. This is going to be the team. Um, so let me know, guys, what uh, nickname suggestions you have for the team, and also any changes and weaknesses that you can see. But anyway... I hope you guys did enjoy the team building video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you guys at the next one. McCaddy out.